Howdy guys, two cowboys in the camera here. You know what, there's only one thing we drink more than coffee, and that's fresh beer. And we put the emphasis on fresh, because we've discovered that the older beer gets, the taste seems to change a little bit. So once they get themselves into these bottles, they're just not the same anymore. We've tried everything, believe me. We've gone with our own kegerator, We've gone with getting barrels from the local brewery, filling our growlers. It just doesn't meet the quality that we're after. We got ourselves a really good espresso machine because we like our coffee. We want to be able to do exactly the same thing for beer. And the question is, can we? Somebody in New Zealand gave us a call from Williams Warren and they said, you know what, the Kiwis has figured out how to make an appliance like an espresso machine that will solve this whole problem for us, where we can get fresh beer that we make. So let's go and have a look. You were New Zealand's first registered brewmaster. When I joined uh, Dominion Breweries, I was just happy to be the first person to have got the Diploma Master Brewer, because I, I wanted it, I wanted the knowledge. But now it's looking so much different. I mean, the industry is changing, there's an explosion in craft brewing, and then you launch this company called Williams Warren. My uncle said, why has no one solved home brewing? A person who could take the home brew flavour out of home brew would have a really good business. So I thought someone must have invented something. But no one had made like a brewing appliance, like a coffee machine or a bread maker. And so I started to look into it. For every one guy brewing, there's a hundred who have tried and quit. So what's the problem? So then from my brewing knowledge, got into home brewing and said, OK, they're doing 10 things wrong. And that's why I invented the personal brewery to make it all in one vessel and take care of the carbonation, the clarification and the temperature control to see if we could get guys and women back into the hobby. We launched in 2011 with our first prototype. We only sold about 70, but people made beer like the world's best beer I made in 98, first time in seven days. So they proved the system. So then we got more investment to tweak the machine and then launched the Generation 2 Williams Warren Brewmaster in 2013. By then we had a thousand people on the waiting list. How did it happen that you and Beer crossed paths? Ian and Anders developed the process as such. The problem solving was how to make that process into an appliance or a product that hits the sweet spot for the consumer. The hardest bit is just getting people used to the fact that you can actually make beer quickly. It's no different to coffee. You know, the, the people who are using espresso coffee machines now and getting a really great result, provided you've got good water, you should be able to mix it up and make good beer. You ended up with, let's call it the espresso machine of beer. The Brewmaster has been amazing in the fact that it's given us confidence that people can brew that high quality beer at home. With winning the Pilsner section of the Asian Beer Awards against 52 different breweries from around the world, it helped us understand that we had a really good product here and we needed to keep developing it um, and get it to a price point where it was going to suit the consumer. We have been trying to get the price down for people and that's what we've done with our brew keg system. We've got the brew keg 50 which is more for the bars and cafes but we've also got the brew keg 25 and 10 which are more for the home brewer and so we're hoping to be able to bring more people into making great beer and cider in four to seven days. I want to drink some beers that I like. Not necessarily have to cart myself off to the grocery store to go and get my beers. Yep. I have the opportunity to get some ingredients from you. Yes. I get myself one of these little babies. Yep. You give me some instructions. Yes. And five days later, I have chilled beer on tap. Yes. That simple? That simple. We have gone around the world to find where we can get the best ingredients. So we get the yeast out of Europe, dry malt out of the United States, liquid malt from here in New Zealand. And we provide that in a kit which can be used in one of our breweries. It's all done in the same vessel, which makes it the freshest beer in the world. Have you heard the statement that when you get this right, you're going to revolutionise the craft brewing industry? So it could revolutionise the ability of a pub, cafe, restaurant to brand their own beers with the minimum outlay of capital. Our system technically makes the freshest beer in the world. It's the least oxidised because it's the only brewing system in the world where once it's brewed, it's not transferred. Beer's best fresh. It's made from cereal, so it's like bread. People think you need to age beer like wine. It's not, it's a brewing myth. It's the other way around. So all those guys pouring a tap seven days old in the pub, he doesn't know it, but he's coming back for more, but partly because it's so fresh. 
you're an Irish pub. That's quite an ambitious objective to start getting your own beer. No, absolutely. I was surprised how easy it was. Got the brew kegs out the back there. Are you calling it your, your Harper's Brewing Company? Yep. Pilsner Pale Ale and Cider is the core range. And I've got a fourth one with Scottish Ale at the moment, and that just changes week to week. The beers we're making ourselves are probably now 60% of our sales. Hopefully I'll sell to other pubs down the track. Turn into a brewing conglomerate or something. It's a... <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Brer, what's happening here? Yeah, so this is our fermentation room. It's called Brew Station. We can service small bars, tailor a boutique beer just for them. This is inspiring to see how quickly you can get a business going with us. And, and you didn't even have to go to beer school. No, a lot of the hard work's done by William Swan, and uh, yeah, we can just uh, kick it off. We're sitting downtown Auckland. You got some poutine? Yeah, of course. And you got some great beer. And we make bagels and smoked meat and all the other Canadian treats as well. You became a brewer recently, haven't you? I did. The lager's the most popular, the pale ale's the favourite. We were buying craft beer at one of our original shops and I just thought, this is expensive. So then I emailed Ian and he was like, this is perfect timing. We have this product that's just being released. We gave it a try. It couldn't be easier to have like a commercial quality product ready seven to ten days or even sooner, depending on what you're making. I think there's just one thing missing in this whole conversation, and that's a beer. Yeah. Do you have any? Yeah, I do. <laughs> William Zorn, traveling the world? Cheers. The best, freshest beer there is. Cheers, man. Cheers. As you can see, William Zorn is onto something, giving us a really affordable appliance that the two cowboys can use to make our own beer, freshly, have it on tap five days later, and we're gonna take you on that journey to see how well that's going to go. We're all about supporting communities, businesses, inspiring people. We really appreciate your support. Come and join our movement. Give us a thumbs up. We would love to bring you more of these.